I'm Julian Welsh, I'm the Special Projects Producer at We The Curious in Bristol. My role is to bring together partners and ideas and children's ideas and make them into really exciting projects for some of the school children of Bristol. The school started thinking about seagulls when a neighbour complained about the noise they were making. The gulls were nesting on the school roof. At that point, We The Curious asked if we could get involved. My name's Kevin Hawkins and I'm the head teacher here at Hannamore Primary School. Today we're working with Julian from We The Curious and an artist, Alex, to try and come up with some ideas with the children to create a mural all about seagulls, which can go on the, the wall of our school. Open City Research is about saying we want everyone to have the chance to be part of research, not as subjects or as an audience, but to form the questions that research asks and to bring other types of knowledge to the research process. Can you remember one interesting thing about seagulls that we found out? Well, that lots of people do call them seagulls, but they're not seagulls, they're herring gulls. The seagulls have been here two million years before us. What do you think about seagulls? They're really annoying. Why are they annoying? What do they do that's annoying? They steal my food all the time. They steal your food all the time. And sometimes they try to attack me. Why don't you like seagulls? What's one of the reasons? It's just they wake up um, people when they're supposed to sleep. What is it you don't like about seagulls? What makes them sort of a negative creature for you? Mm -hmm. Because they, 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 uh, they shout out loud and make that annoying sound and they steal your food and they attack you. What do you think about the seagulls eating all the scraps that the humans leave around the city? Uh, like, it's, it's good because we might get full so that we give the leftovers like a kind treat. Do you think gulls are more scared of us or do you think we're more scared of gulls? Uh, the gulls are more scared of us. Why is that? Because they're smaller than us and we're bigger than them. Do you think do you think it's all right that we share the city with the seagulls? Mm, yeah. It's at home too. They live here, they make their nests here. There's the harbour side and really that's where seagulls like to be. When I asked the children what they thought of seagulls in the city, they showed me two things. Some seagull behaviour is a problem, but also they understood that gulls are amazing wild creatures. The main thing we're trying to do is to get children's ideas and children's voices and children's thinking about science into the projects that we run. I'm Billy, I'm an artist living and working in Bristol and I do a lot of community projects and painting, drawing, illustration and today we're going to be doing some live drawing in the playground with the kids. Hannah Moore is situated right in the heart of the city and a lot of our children don't necessarily get the opportunity to go to museums like We The Curious or SS Great Britain and so if we can make partnerships where people are coming in who represent those organisations like Julian then it gives our children more opportunities and opportunities that they wouldn't normally have. Today we're trying to build on both of those ideas with a drone camera. We're flying it from the roof so the children will be able to watch the video and see their school from a seagull's point of view. I'm Jen Goldsack. I work at Hannibal Primary School, I'm the curriculum lead and the year two teacher. I think any, any way that we can put our science learning you know, into context of a, of a real life situation is, is really beneficial for the children. Teachers work incredibly hard to engage children with science and the relationship We The Curious is building here with Hannibal School is an attempt to bring another dimension to the children's science learning. Well, I think the children have found it really exciting. They've loved today where the drones come in and working with Alex, the artist, and all the science that they've managed to be able to get out of it. I think it takes science out of the classroom and into the real world. Mm -hmm.